Hey, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to another session on Face to Face to Online Transition. Today we will be looking at GoReact. GoReact is an online video recording platform that is designed to give feedback to your students' speeches, music, theater, art, presentation. The options are limitless. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So here I am in my Blackboard course shell. You don't have to sign in to go react. You don't have to download anything. Everything is inbuilt in your Blackboard. So let's go ahead and click on lessons and build content. I'll click on build content and you will see I have a tab that says go react. I'm going to go ahead and give it a name. I'm just going to say intro. I highly recommend you all to do the description. I'm not going to do anything right now just to keep it short. If you want your students to look at a file, you can go ahead and attach a file here. If you want to enable your assignment, you want to grade it, you're going to go ahead and click yes and you're going to give it a points. Please make sure that these points, you, you know how many points you're assigning because you have to use the same amount of points when you assign inside go react so i'm going to click on 10 points right now and visible to the students yes i want it to be visible if you want to set a due date you can go ahead and do that you want to track the number of views you're go you're more than welcome to go ahead and do that you want it to be available after or display after a certain time this is all where you do that so i'm just gonna i'm not gonna mess with that i'm just gonna click submit for now and you will see that I have a web link that says intro. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. So it brings you to this new page and it's going to ask you to create an assignment. Now you have three options. One is a standard where students can record videos with options of multiple cameras and live feedback. So this is if you want uh, students to present at certain time and you want all your students to give them feedback for a live presentation you can go ahead and do that or if you want students to collaborate with one another students can come up with a certain time and they can record in their respective houses with different cameras and all the videos from all the capture from all the video uh, all the videos from all the cameras will be captured into one video huh finally stimulus stimulus is where students are prompted to watch a video and record their response comment is where students can only comment but they have to watch a pre-recorded video now when i say a pre-recorded video it could be a youtube link or the video that you as an instructor have created so let me go ahead and click on standard and click next and let's look at all these options for different assignment types the privacy issue or the privacy setting if you want it to be private that is only you and the presenter can review Closed peer review is it's only visible to the instructor, presenter, and selected reviewers. Like if you only want a group to review the group, you can go ahead and do that. Open review, anybody can view and review their videos. I'm just going to keep it open peer review. Now grading, do you want it to grade it? If yes, do you want it to just give it a points? Make sure these points align with your gradebook points that we we have given before, which is 10, right? That's one option. Oops, 10. Or do you have a rubric and you want your students to uh, look at the rubric and you want to grade your students based on that rubric? I have some pre-assigned rubrics, but let's go ahead and check some here. Creating a rubric in GoReact is a breeze. You can use just points. Of course, you're going to add your title and give the assigned points out of 10 points, right? You can do that. You can create multiple checkboxes and check them off as you watch the video and grade them. I'm just going to say five points for this one, two for this, three for this. That way it's 10 points altogether. So you can do a checkbox. One could be for the eye movement, one for the hand. I'm just giving you an example here. Or let me go ahead and delete this. Or you can have a numeric scale and you can edit each of them. I'm going to have an E for eye, 
and H for hand movement and V for voice. And I want to assign three points for eye movement, two, three. So it's it's up to you. You can add more uh, numeric scale or you can just delete them as you go. Right. That's one way of doing it. Or you simply have a qualitative scale which says poor, fair, good, very good. Or if you don't like saying poor, fair, good, very good, you can add whatever you want. I'm just going to say great, you know, just randomly. You can, you can create anything and you can even add or assign points as per your wish. And if you don't want to grade them at all, but you just want to give them a text response, you can do that as well. Or if you want a combination of everything, points one checkbox and one qualitative scale you can do that too so the options are endless here so i'm just going to go ahead and close this and i don't want them to grade on the rubric i'm just going to give them some points and the points are 10. now the next one is multiple cameras this one is useful when you let your students collaborate with one another and have them record at the same time and it's gonna look something like this. Students will have an assigned time. Everybody's gonna log in at the same time. They will join the group and everybody's gonna record themselves. And it's gonna look something like this on your screen. And I love live review. And if you have a presentation or if you are presenting and you want your students to log in and give a live feedback, you can do that as well. Single recording, that is they can only record themselves once. If you want a time limit, if you don't want them to record more than five minutes, you can go ahead and do that as well. Now, the next one is the presenter slides. If they have any slides, they can go ahead and put that up. Now for the next option, which is a marker set. What is the marker set? A marker set is uh, comments that you can use on your videos. So instead of commenting, let's say you have 25 students and you want to comment on every student but you know a set of comments that you will be using then you will go ahead and use your marker set let's say I'm just gonna put intro here let's say I want to say um, great job for every student so that's one marker I'm gonna say eye contact I'm just gonna say great eye contact on every video so I'm just going to go ahead and show you how this works. You can create um, unlimited markers. I'm just going to say nice voice. Can I say that? I'm not sure. Nice voice and um, nice background. I don't know if I can say that as well. Uh, how do I spell background? Back. Background. Okay. And I'm just going to click OK on this one. Now, student rubric, if you have a rubric and you want to share that with your students, you're going to go ahead and click that here and you can pick whatever rubric you want. Now, instructor attachments, if you have a video or a YouTube link or audio that you want them to watch before they record themselves, you can go ahead and do that. Recording instructions, I'm just going to say limit to five minutes. Um, Please be clear, please be clear and camera on all the times. I don't know, I'm just making these up all the time. Times, time, okay. And I'm gonna click save and close. But if you have instructions, instructions already um, on a Word document, you can go ahead and do that too. How? I'm just gonna remove these. You can simply add your file from the library and you can um, have them right here. If you are a media or theater instructor and you want your students to read those dialogues to you, you can go ahead and do that. And let me make sure I'm just gonna say five minutes only. Save and close. And feedback instructions, the same way as instructor instructions. Sorry, recording instructions. Now I'm going to go ahead and click done. But before I do that, I want you all to see different options in assignment types. So let's go ahead and ch change from standard to stimulus. Stimulus is where students have to watch a video and record their response. There are two ways of doing it. Either you can provide a video. You can say instructor selected video. You can provide the video in a form of a YouTube. You can upload your own video. So right now, I'm just, when I click on video here, you can see me talking. 
or you can upload your own video if you already have it pre-recorded you can type in a youtube link or you can voice record yourself or you can pick from your library right or if you say presenter selected you don't have to give them a video students can select their own video and record their response on the video now the next one is comment only comment only is where students will watch the video that you have provided so in this case you have to provide a media source the same thing again you can record the video of yourself talking you can upload a video if it's already been pre-recorded or you can pick a YouTube channel. You simply copy and paste the link right here. You see that? Or you can record an audio and the same thing. But in a comment only, instructors have to provide the source and students, all they can do is simply comment. So let me go back to standard here and I'm just gonna click multiple and I'm gonna click done. So congratulations, you have created your first GoReact assignment. So let's go ahead and pretend to be a student and see how it works. I'm going to click on Start Assignment, Title. So students will get to this point from their Blackboard. So let me show you how that's done. So students will see this link, right? They will go ahead and click on the link. It's going to bring them to this page. So I'm going to click Start Assignment. I'm going to click Intro presenter the student's name should populate because i'm the only one my name is right here the student can actually upload a pre-recorded video or use go react to record and i'm going to click record and the instructor uh, the recording instructions pop up right here i'm going to click continue i'm going to flip my image and i'm going to go ahead and start to record i'm just going to say um welcome hope this go react um, tutorial is gonna help you and bingo let's go finish and once it's processing the media it's gonna tell you it's um, processing Oops. welcome hope this and i'm gonna go ahead and post you can delete and re-record or you can simply go ahead and post it i'm gonna go ahead and post it and voila my recording is right there so as an instructor, this is my instructor page as well. Now, if you want to go ahead and grade this, let me go ahead and show you. I'm going to go ahead and turn this um, on. Well, okay, I'm going to turn off the mic, right? So as this is playing, I can give my comments, great eye contact, okay? And I'm going to say nice background, okay? And I'm going to say um, nice voice. So you see how the markers are coming into play? And then I'm going to go ahead and give assign myself some points. I'm going to assign myself two points. Or you can also type in a comments. Welcome. Or you can record yourself giving them a feedback. You can record an audio giving them a feedback. You can upload a pre-recorded video. You can give them a YouTube link or pick something from your library. Okay. And now I'm going to click back and discard the comment. There you go. Now I don't have any ungraded assignments. To check my graded assignments, I already graded it. I have three comments and I gave myself two points. All right, now, now let's look at different assignments to see how they look from a student perspective. So here I am in my Blackboard and I will click on the stimulus kind of assignment. Remember, stimulus is where I have to watch a video and record my response to the video. The video is provided by the instructor or student can pick their own video. So I'm going to go ahead and start my assignment and I'm going to use the same intro. My name should populate and I'm going to record. And these are the instructions. I have to have my headphones on because it's not going to use my mic. It's going to interrupt with the, the audio of the YouTube, but that's okay for now. I'm going to go ahead and play. Okay, right here, play. And I'm going to start to record myself. Nice intro. It's a TED Talk. I'm going to scroll up. I'm Dick Cheney. Oh, nice. Very creative. And you have a point to make. So we just Nice cartoon. And I'm just going to say finish. And it's processing my video. And my video is right there. 
And when the instructor clicks on it, this is how it's gonna look. Turn off the audio here. Right? And the instructor can comment on this one. All right, I wanna see a show of hands. How many of you have unfriended someone on Facebook? So I'm gonna go ahead. So when you look here, it's gonna give me the video and my reactions. And I'm gonna use my markers to comment, right? I can grade it. So you get the idea. This is for a stimulus video. Now let me go back. Uh, points, I'm gonna say three points. Save. Now let's look at a comment video. So here is a comment video. What I have to do is I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. And once the video is running, I will simply comment. Uh, hello, welcome, nice background. So you can see that it not only tells me at what time I am commenting, but who is commenting as well. And I'm simply gonna go ahead and click back. Keep in mind in a comment video, students can record themselves, they only have to comment. So what I want to show you all one last thing is a screen recording option in your Go React. That is not possible in a comment only video. We have to go back to a standard or stimulus. So let me go ahead and do that. So I'm going back to the intro. I'm gonna give it a name, ABC. The presenter's name should pop up and I'm gonna click record. And once I click record here, it's gonna take a minute to populate. What I want you all to see is Go React can actually record your screen. So I'm gonna click on record screen and it's gonna give me an option. Do you want me to record your entire screen or just your application window or your Chrome tab? So right now I'm just gonna say uh, Chrome tab and I'm gonna click lessons. So I just want you all to see that a go react can actually record your screens as well i'm just you're gonna say share and you will go back here and start to record it so you can see my oops i think i flipped it you can actually see my screen and my face and i'm gonna record it here and i'm just gonna pause and there you go, my video is processing and students can actually record their screen and themselves as well. So the video is taking some time to um, actually render. I'm just gonna go ahead and post that. So as you see, the video has been posted. So the students can actually record themselves, they can record their screen, they can collaborate and record with one another, they can do various things with Go React. Hope this tutorial helps. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to comment below. Thank you and stay safe.